Hey Leo, welcome back to Distilled Tarot. My name's Shannon. I'll be guiding you through today's reading. This is going to be our weekend reading for March 26th through the 28th. Let's see what's going on with Leo. The heart of your reading, we have death energy. This is talking about a major transformation going on in your life. Um, you're in this in-between phase where nothing is like it was before, but you're not quite certain where you're going to end up. You're right smack dab in the middle of it. What's the challenge here? Judgment in reverse. Um, there are decisions being made about what is going to stay and what's going to fade away. These energies are perfect pair. The, the, the textbook judgment energy is final judgment, so that's like the analogy of the energy. Um, at, when things come to an end, you judge it for what it was and decide, does it get revived? Does it get reborn? Is there new life to breathe into it? Or is it over? But that's the challenging bit for you right now. Your focus... Queen of Swords reversed, Six of Wands reversed, Three of Cups. There's something that you are thinking about that you feel like was a failure, but when you think about it, you don't know why it happened. You don't know what went wrong. That's why you keep thinking about it, or why it's on your mind. Because... There's happiness now. There's fun. There's happiness. This Three of Cups energy is like, well, you know, we were having fun. Everything was going well. Then what went wrong? The Six of Wands is definitely something big went wrong. Queen of Swords reversed is, I'm looking at the situation and I can't make heads or tails of it. I, I don't understand this. So that's like the way that you are looking at this situation, this combination of happy fun times and everything falling apart. Like it just didn't work out. Why not? If there's all these good vibes with this Three of Cups, why the failure? In the recent past, we have the Four of Wands reversed. We may be talking about a divorce here, looking back at uh, what went wrong in a relationship, a divorce or a breakup. Show me the energy of the environment. Nine of Swords, King of Swords in reverse. Stressing out about decisions made. Okay, it's either this King of Swords reverse could be you stressing out about a decision that needs to be made and you're not sure what to do. Or it may be reflecting back on a past decision that you felt like you're questioning. Was it the right decision? Was it the wrong decision? The, the reversal is an uncertainty there. And I will note that we have a pair on the board now. The King and Queen of Swords both reversed. So if you're feeling that way, they are too. Let's see the near future. How does this story unfold 
for my Leos. No, didn't want to fall. What comes next for Leo? Healing, Three of Swords reversed. That's good. It's kind of general, kind of vague, but healing from a broken heart is a good thing. Let's pull one more. Hmm. Realizing what you've learned from the situation, Page of Pentacles reversed. Okay, show me surprise energy. Ooh. Fool, taking a leap. Putting yourself out there. Trying something new. Perhaps traveling, going on a, some sort of a trip or an adventure. It's definitely a fresh new start. Clarifying, we have the chariot reversed. I think this is clarifying for me. I was wondering whether you are taking this leap with someone or towards someone. I think the chariot in reverse is telling me, um, like it's specifying that this is a solo journey. Because um, I was, I was wondering whether this fool was either you or them reaching out to the other person to reconnect. And this is saying, uh, no, you're not aligned. So whatever this fool energy is represents you going on a new adventure independently. Going after something that you that excites you. Show me hopes and fears. Magician in reverse. What if I don't know what I want? If I don't know what I want, I can't manifest an outcome. Show me the end result. How do these energies resolve for Leo? Okay. Um, you're worried about whether or not you're going to manifest the outcome that you want? Don't worry, because the way that you're ending up is with the Three of Wands energy. That's um, you've put in your order to the universe, and you are in that expectant mode believing and having faith that what you've manifested is about to arrive. Now that's connected to the Knight of Cups reversed energy. It could mean an apology or um, taking actions to make amends. It definitely feels like um, expressing emotion without the intent of it leading anywhere, which is, I know that sounds odd. That's the way that I'm getting it. It's like, I just had to let you know how I feel. So now I've said my piece and I can move on or I'm not certain whether your intent is to move on here. I just know that the the Knight of Cups reversed isn't like I must win someone over. It's it's different from that.
It's like you want to let someone know how you feel and you want to know how they feel. It's like, yeah, it, it feels like a heart to heart conversation. Let's see advice. Three of Pentacles reversed and the moon. This is more solitary energy. If you're making any decisions right now that include, um, should I join forces with other people? The Three of Pentacles in reverse says no. You'd be better off going it alone than tying your success to anyone else. If you're already working in a group setting and you don't really have an option to change that, Three of Pentacles reversed is just saying, watch out that everyone else is giving their best. You might run the risk of someone um, taking advantage or slacking off and dragging down the rest of the team. So watch out for that. Now this moon energy as advice. For some of you, it's it's saying um, I'm literally getting like to take a moon bath, um, like taking a bath as a ritual on the full moon. Um, it's not a necessity. That's not everyone's cup of tea. If that's your thing, then consider doing that. Um, let's see. Oh, oh, okay, okay. I get it. This Knight of Cups reversed is going to want to overshare. The moon is saying there are some things better left unsaid. I think you might be in a position to um, connect with your ex for this heart to heart. It's unclear whether there's any overtones of reconciliation. Probably not with this chariot in reverse. I don't think that you guys are aligned, at least not for the near future because of this fool energy being you moving in an independent direction. Whatever you're going to be expressing or revealing, um, be judicious about what you share and what you keep to yourself. This moon energy as advice says, um, there's a line that you shouldn't cross or there's a there's a level of truth that would be hurtful. So, Leo, I hope that helped. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. I'll see you back on Sunday for the weeklies. Take care. Bye.